Okay, here I am. Another seven days to die video. As per usual, I've, I've decided this time I always do like mid-tier bases, and I normally wait till I've got up a level. Anyway, I've been playing. I've been playing this game. As you can see, I'm on like day five. I think I'm about level fourteen. I think fifteen. So the base I've done is everything I've, I've been playing. So there's been no creative mode on. There's nothing like that. Um, so yeah, I've, I've just been playing, but I figure I always do mid-tier bases and, and things. I've, I've already raided over there and I've raided the fire station and stuff in several shops along here. And I always do like mid-tier bases, but I never do kind of starter bases. So, okay, so basically there's, there's a lot of vanilla here. Yes, I am running mods, but there have been no mods used in the, the building um, of this. So mm, I've taken a vanilla POI and I've kind of done it up. So again, you know, I, I'm level 14. I can't really do too much. Um, these street lamps, are, I still got to go around and wrench some of these, but you know, they, they should afford me a fair amount of steel and iron, but um, yes. So here we are, I've used the Parson gas this time. I've decided to turn this not only into my base, but it's also a blood moon base. Um, I've been doing well at the beginning of the game. I've actually managed to get enough um, acid to get myself a, a chemistry station. I've got the benches I need. Unfortunately, I don't have all the materials to create the stuff that I want, but um, let's have a look. Are the natives are restless again? I've already been around here once and kind of cleared. Uh, let's leave them alone. They're, they're not bothering me. Don't bother them. Right, so here's what I've got for a base. Mm, anybody who knows vanilla, you know, you, you're going to know the passing gas, and it's, it's this style of passing gas, because there, there are a couple. So it's the one, you know, just here with, uh, you know, the shop underneath it and the upstairs and stuff. And... Oh, ouch. So it's the one with the shop underneath. You know, most people will be um, familiar with this, this POI. I always live in hope, you know, I keep going over places I've been over, but... Yep, so I've already hacked a lot of this down and taken it and obviously you know I started off in here, I was trying to I was trying to block that off and make them come up one at a time. But when I when I first had this, I basically put um hatches in, floor hatches to try and so that I could just fight them off and fend them off to begin with. Because when I first started making this, I was unsure I was gonna do the blood moon. So what I've done is I've basically used my, my pick I've broken all the sides off here so they can't break through the windows and try and rear end me. And again, I've, I've done round here the same. It's just two bricks. I mean, then they shouldn't be able to get on there. They haven't so far. And so basically, you know, there's there's little bits here and there which they can do. I mean, they, they could try walking up there. But basically, I've got it pathing so that they, they come to this window here. And I'll show you that from the other side. But I had to break a couple of blocks and I had to break that bottom block as well. Okay, so you should path around here and up onto there. I've had to break quite a few blocks. I want to break this side bit as well, stop them from coming around there. I originally thought about using that, you see, as a, a base, and I did, but then I quickly broke that down as quickly as I could. I've given, I've made it so they can only path to this point at the moment when I'm upstairs working and stuff. I keep the path down so they can't see it. They can, they can wander around aimlessly if they want to break stuff if they really want to, but uh, it took me quite a bit. I mean, the rest of this stuff is all just yeah, above. You can see part of it there where I've been building. But yes, so far, this is what I've done. Um, I've, I've broken two blocks around the windows there. Two blocks around here and around here. I mean, really, I should have broken these wooden bits as well, to be honest. I'll growl all you like. Say I don't care. I've been breaking these just so that they can't get to the windows, basically. I, I don't want them to sort of jump over there. Yeah, I see you down there. I've already had all the cars and stuff from down there, so I don't care. So I've just broken all of those, as you can see. That way they, they shouldn't have a way over to me other than what I've made for them, which is this little door here. Okay, so with that in mind, we'll go the other way. This is the pathing that they're supposed to take. They're supposed to come all the way around here, up here, 
That's my hope on the Blood Moon, that that's what they'll do. I mean, I've already tried it. They've been doing that so far, but you know you know what it's like. You say, this is what they should do, this is how they path, and then, of course, when it actually comes to it, they don't do as they're supposed to. So, that's what's been happening so far. Uh, well, I might go back out again, so let's just leave that. Okay, so I've gone up here. Okay, Blood Moon Base, first of all. So, obviously, I had to clear this POI. I got some nice loot from this, actually. I was quite pleased. Some nice tools and stuff. Okay, so here's the Blood Moon Base, and yes, I've, I've already painted and, and stuff. Murky Water and Chrysanthemum. It's not exactly... Okay, so that's it. You see, they're, they're supposed to path here. If I need to... I don't have a lot of ammo. Or arrows. I have arrows. I don't have a lot of shotgun ammo, that's for sure. So, you know, I can always close that when I need to reload. This bottom bit's just in case they break through the front. I've put bars in. It's all painted. Basically, it's all wood, actually. You're looking at this, but as you can see, it's all wood. Um, you know, I haven't got anything else. I'm, I'm not... I've, I'm collecting concrete, but I don't really have enough to play with at the moment at all. So this is all wood that you see. So, apart from this POS, which obviously, if I just give that tap you can see like 5,000 hit points a piece so I'm reasonably confident that they're, they're not just going to break through so there's the idea they they walk across here I'll give them a quick slap around the chops or shoot them in the face I'm, I'm not bothered which really preferably, preferably give them a slap yeah, and, 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 and of course I am of course I'm freezing so that's that's the idea with the blood moon base but we'll see this in operation anyway we've got bulletproof blocks there Okay, so basically we, we come around here. I've done nothing I've done nothing with this. I mean it's all painted, but yeah. Yeah, oh great. There's a screamer downstairs. Awesome. So you come around here to the actual base proper. That's my quick route down so I can get down and go raiding. I did start by wandering all the way around, but yeah, why why do that? Ow! Okay. I mean I say ow. I don't know why I'm saying ow, to be honest. It doesn't Exactly hurt me, does it? There we go. Let's go across. Where's my Where's my block on? I swear I had a block there. Did I? Did I? Yes, I've been out raiding. I was just raiding stuff before I, I did this. Is that my Yeah, frame cubes. Excuse me a minute. Let me see if there's something I can do about this. Nice pop there. That, that should be out. Shut off, lady. Seriously. Don't start calling in hordes already. Otherwise, I will murder you and I'll murder your friends too. Ah. Save it till the blood moon, lady. Okay, so I've got a nice little thing going on up here. So I was actually starting in the desert before I came over to this um, like the frozen area. But the frozen area is a nice area to start off in. You get nice loot, and well, again, it took me, you know, a little while. It took me a good half a day's search to actually find this down here. So yeah, I've now got my my potatoes growing, my corn growing. Um, I have harvested the land three. So this is this is my little garden area. This is to keep me fed, basically. And as you can see, I put mushrooms on the wall here. So I've got those growing um, through here. Oh, you little witch, I bet you're coming up as well, aren't you? Yeah, there you are. I don't have many bullets. That was worth it, though. I don't care. Yes, I know I had the bow and arrow there. Right, so that's what this is for. As you can see, I've, I've put bars in across here. They're not exactly strong. They're wood. They might break. They might get bust. I mean, day five, I'm hardly like to see any like cops or anything. So they shouldn't break too much. Where are you two going? Anyway, and I've put bars over here as well. Where are you going? Anyway, yep, so I've put bars in there. I've put bars in here as well. It gives me a good chance to maybe shoot down them when I get a bit more ammo. But but right now I don't have enough. Um, oh my goodness. Wrecking cacophony.
You know what I wish I did have creative mode on? I'm telling you right now. Oi, you lot. Come on. Half this way. There you go. Look. There you go. Look. There we go. Yes. Come on. Going down. There we go. Come on then. There you go. Yep, you can go down too. Any more of you? This this isn't so that it's how the blood moon is supposed to work. This is, you know, pretty much how I picture it working. Well, I think I've only got 12 zombies per, per wave. The starter. I can't remember what difficulty they're on. Might be warrior. Not sure. Yeah, get down. Bye bye. Really? You know what, I get the feeling I should put some spikes at the bottom there. Would have been much funny to watch him drop down on spikes. I'd say it's a nice little XP trap here at the moment. I just wish I had some learning elixirs. That would be nice. You lot are really going to make this video longer than it has to be. It's meant to be a quick video. So all it's meant to be, do you know what, you, on a, I swear, you two are the last two I'm going to kill for the moment. We need to get on with this. <laughs> these two are going to be the last kill, I say. I'm going to do these and then I'm going to get on with it. Yeah. Bye bye. And you're not having your path back either. You can have the path. When I tell you you can have the path. Right. Let's go round it. It seems, seems that we've got a never ending stream of this at the moment. So, sod you lot. Right. Okay. So, basically, this is really not going to take long anyway. Crop plots. Plants. There we go. Just enough to feed me at the moment. And if you're wondering how I managed to get hold of so much rotting flesh so early, one of the mods I'm using allows me to actually harvest zombies. So when I kill the zombie, I can harvest a zombie and I can actually get rotting flesh. So that is why I have um, farm pots so quickly, so early in the game. Um, as you can see, there are forges here. Chemistry bench, it's, it's a workroom. There's my workbench, just there. Storage boxes, all labelled as per usual, because I like my stuff and I like it in its place. See with the wood, stone and clay. I don't actually have a lot at the moment. And incidentally, the reason why I put one in every one of these is so that when I come back here, I, I don't want everything to go in, so let's just lock it up to level 15, lock it up to 15 boxes. But if I now click that button, if I've got anything in my inventory, it will jump over into here, and all this box is mapped out. So if I come back with a ton of stone, then it's all going to jump into the, the places that I've selected for stone, or sand, or... So that's why I map these boxes out like that. So. I mean, I think everybody does this anyway. I mean, I'm not sure, but there you go. Let's do the same again, if I have any lead or brass. No. And same for materials. Let's drop some of this off. There we go. I'm dropping there. So over here quickly, here's my bedroom. It's nothing fancy. Again, it's all wood. This is all wood. There's my windows. Nothing fancy. A few doors. You know, little storage box. All I've done is put two blocks down and put a bed roll on it. That's my bed. That's as fancy as it gets for level 14. Okay. My workroom. Tons of torches, which means I'm going to get screamers galore. Of course I am. With the amount of fires I've got going, I've got these two going, because I'm in the winter zone. And I need the warmth, funny enough. So 
There's my boxes. That's my trader box above the door. That's where I'm putting my dukes and other stuff. Not exactly a rich man at the moment. And it says kitchen. Here we go, pretty vanilla. Now that's meant to represent the fridge. I don't have a fridge. I, I, I'm not fortunate enough to have a fridge in here yet. I don't have creative mode on, so I've not given myself a fridge or anything. It's just how it is. Um, here I have my, my sink, my storage boxes. This is meant to look like an oven, but obviously campfire on top because I don't have any working ovens right now. But it's all just painted to look like a kitchen because as per usual, I like my kitchens to look like kitchens. And again, just because I'm in Apocalypse doesn't mean this has to look like a dump. So there we go. Just not, not really a great deal at all. Storage boxes. I don't know why I put a little serving hatch in there. It's not like I'm expecting anybody for dinner. Um... Yep, you know, there's my, my drinks. Medic well, I don't have a lot of medical stuff, to be honest with you. I don't have a lot of medical stuff at all. And see all my seeds and stuff. All my seeds have been put out for planting, so I have next to nothing left at all. And as you can see, I don't have any rotting flesh left at all. I've used it all. Um, so, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So... This this is the this is my my house. This is my shack on top. And up here, obviously, this is where these edges here would have been the red rims around the top. This is where the loot would have been up on the roof. This is actually this was here previously. I've not removed it, which is why it's part of the room. And uh, you would have had your boxes, your loot boxes here on your bench. And obviously, you always have a dog hidden behind the loot boxes just here, so that when you climb up this ladder because this ladder is always here you climb up here you climb up onto the roof the dog would be over there behind the loot and that's where you would get it from right so back down and obviously I've removed some of those you scream where you like yep I've removed some of the ladder so that if they do get up here which they shouldn't do but if they do they shouldn't wreck too much and then of course yep down here good grief I forgot how many zombies I had actually. Oh, you little. Body disposal. Thank you. Some of them. As you can see, this point. All of you get off. Okay. I'm going to need some wood, and then I'm going to need my hammer for repairing as well. the club's repaired. So I am beginning to wonder about this area, you know. Talk about the natives are restless. Well, anyway, that was that's the base shown off. There's really not much to it. It's a box at the top. You know, it's nicely painted. Like I said, it's all wood. It is all wood. There's no concrete to it. But I am using this POI, and I mean, this POI itself, the blocks have 5,000 hit points each. I'm optimistic that everything's going to be fine. Oh, my God. 
But it just goes to show what you can do, even at 14th level. You know, only 14th level, day five. If you get your motors on. Let's face it, it's because I've got all the torches around. I mean, with my sight, I need the torches to see. And he still has my arrow in him as well. Okay, body disposal. Don't want too many of you piling up. Now, I'm going to open you for a minute. I'm going to get some wood and I'm going to get the hammer just in case this screws up so hideously that I need to make some OG repairs. It must have a zombie factory around here somewhere. Yeah, I, I don't think that's actually a thing. I don't think there is such a thing as a zombie factory. But I have to say, there is quite a few of them. Right. It was one of those moments where I'm going, what am, what am I here for? I'm not here for something. You know when you walk into a room, you reach that age, you walk into a room and you suddenly, you don't know why you're here. And you're like, I know I was here for a reason. I feel sure I was. Okay, do I want any more wood? No. Nope. Oh, I've got 449, should be fine. Okay, there's the first pearls of thunder. It's 821. Uh, how am I doing? Oh, okay. Hungry and thirsty. Let's deal with that too. Let's not get halfway through the bloodling. Are actually alright? Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's have some red tea. So down in the bottom left, you will actually see that my heads up is slightly different. Again, because of my partial sightedness, I like to be able to see how much food and water I have clearly, because I can't see the little green or blue lines. So you'll have to excuse me for using a mod for that. Um, it's Kane's food and water bars and to be honest with you it really does me the world of good it means I can actually see what I'm looking at that way I, I don't well I'd like to say that I don't die due to stupidity um, you know what I mean is I don't die due to food and water loss much Now, I'd have to say, this, this base is pretty for a starter base, okay? Let's not make any bones about it, alright? For a starter base, it's reasonably pretty, okay? You know, it hasn't got all the bells and whistles, there's no, no generators, no lights, you know. I barely had, you know, a couple of engines to make some end mixes, for crying out loud. So, you know, it's not it's not overly pretty, but, you know, it's definitely practical. And as a vanilla POI, to be fair, if you can actually take the time to remove those blocks, it's really not bad. I'm not 100% certain, but I reckon this could serve you into, well, maybe into mid-game. You'd have to make renovations and repairs, but this POI is sturdy enough that I think it could survive. Even with the zombie horde at the bottom. Now bear in mind that I've only got 12 zombies per wave at the moment. Mm, I could have upped it, but really I just wanted to give this a test. As per usual. It's as pretty as it gets for level 14. But, you know, I'd like to think practical as well. I'm really not a bad POI to start in. For a starter base, I think. So I normally do mid-tier bases, you know, where you've got all the use of the furniture, all the use of the good stuff. Lights, camera, action. Um, not this time, no. Day five. I really don't have a lot to my name. 
I mean, hell, if you actually saw what the character was wearing, it's pretty poor, to be honest. <laughs> Start off. Ow, he touched me. Very inappropriately. Ooh. Yep. There we go. Let's just make those cobble as well, shall we? Yeah. Okay. How could you do that? How can you turn that into cobble? You don't have cobble in your inventory, do you? You're quite correct. I have cement, but they do not have cobble. Again, you know, not using the. There we go, and down he goes again. Yeah, the reason being, um, there's a mod that allows me to use my own storage containers. So the ones upstairs, they only extend to a small distance. But it does mean that any materials I have in my storage boxes upstairs, I can use um, on the go here. Obviously, once I get outside of this POA, it doesn't go far enough, so I can't. But... Okay, here we go. Game on! Blood Moon! I tell you what, if you're the only solitary figure that's coming, I mean, talk about an easy Blood Moon, right? <laughs> body hat just wrecked the holes off don't even need to open the doors for body disposal there we go yep That's it, here we go. You don't mind? I think I'm just going to repair first. Thank you very much. Level 1 club. Blimey. Repair. Let's uh, reload, sorry. Repair. Come on, Stevie. Bye bye, Stevie. Oh, that was the. I'm so sorry about that. I should really apologise for that shot. Uh, straight in the shoulder. Yeah, I'm afraid that there's some awful shooting going on here. I hate to say that, unfortunately, you know, archery is not my best skill. As you can tell. Some stamina back. Okay, you lot, come on then. Got some stamina back. We can go again. reload. Let's go again. Come on then. So far it's working at a nice sedate pace. I had enough or I need to reload. I open the door. How am I doing on health? 88 out of 116? Not bad. Also heard myself go up a level, which is always nice. That's what we like to hear. Again, only day five though. Okay, that was 
it's getting a bit much. Come on then. What are you doing? What are you even attacking? Thank you. I definitely didn't order a stripper. Very nice of you to show though. That moment when you run out of stamina, it's like, thank goodness I got the door there. Empty the bodies out, reload. the shot mark. This could be very effective if I actually learned to shoot. There's probably people sitting there saying, why did you do that? You missed. Answer, because I'm not very good. There are definitely far better players than me out there and I think it's time to repair the club as well. Oh, you two sugar. Yes, time for you to go away. Let's get my club repaired again. Again, you will notice I'm using a level 1 club. Definitely, definitely want to get something better. Again! I'm pretty sure I missed that time as well. She's just walked straight up to me and I've missed. This is further proof that unless you're very unless you're good with the bow, I mean. And I'd love to tell you it's because I'm blind in the left eye and my depth perception is gone. But at this point I'm not gonna make excuses, you know, I'm just not that good with the bow. Okay. Silence. Have I cleared them already? I knew I should have had more than 12. Okay, well there you go. Day 6. From the looks of it. Let's open that up. See if I do get disturbed. But that pretty much looks like it. Yeah, of course I emptied that. Pretty much looks like it. All sounds quiet from the looks of it. I finished the Blood Moon at 1 o'clock in the morning. Like I said, you know, it was only on 12 zombies per person per wave. So, you know, not an intense amount. Probably should have turned that up, to be honest with you. But that gives you some idea of, you know, of, of how it will stand up to and what level it will stand up to and also what level of zombies it will stand up to. I have to say, to be honest with you, I think this is going to do well. But, at the end of the day, it depends, I guess, on what you want. So, there we go. It's not exactly pretty, it's, or it's as pretty as it gets for a level 14 character, you know. Got the base up there, I painted it. Windows, you know, a little bit sparse on the furniture, but what do you expect, really? Okay, um, in which case, uh, I think that is essentially point proven. Um, so there we go. Pass and gas, blood moon and house.
included. Another one, let's just commit that to memory.